Hey guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with The Homemade Entrepreneur. So today I want to tell you about my very first affiliate sale. Um, this happened probably eight or nine years ago. Um, so like 2007, 2008, something like that. Um, it happened a while ago. But uh, so the reason I want to tell you, you know, the whole story behind you know, when my very first affiliate uh, sale happened, what it was, you know, how it happened, is because I still remember it. it's it's vivid in my mind because my wife and I were on vacation in Mexico. Um, I think we were just waking up, uh, just getting done uh, eating breakfast, and I, I turned on my computer just to kind of check some things. At that time, I was doing a lot of freelance writing, I was doing a little bit with websites as far as blogging. Um, I didn't get into affiliate. Um, I didn't get into uh, email marketing. I didn't get into social media. I didn't get into YouTube really at that time. So this sale happened on a website that I had called uh, weeklyromance.com. This site was terrible. It sucked. Um, it said weekly romance up in the top and it had little hearts and this is my very first sight. So I thought as at that time I was 20 or 19 or 20, something like that. And at that time I thought I could write a weekly post or page, whatever, um, on romance and you know dating and marriage and all this stuff and relationships you know I thought I was some big expert on it and I was gonna put one post up every single week well about three four weeks in I realized that wasn't gonna work I had to put posts up about every other day to see some traffic so at the time that I got the very first sale I was averaging about four visitors a day and the the website over the the life of that website up until the very first sale had 96 views 96 um, unique visitors on that site and so it was the traffic was very minimal but I was able to get a sale um, the sale it wasn't anything special um, you know I was thinking about drawing it up on the board but I'll just explain it to you the site was just you know basic pages basic content but in the very uh, top I'd have a few links like pictures of what like some different books or some different products that you could go and buy uh, one was an ebook on or it wasn't wasn't really like an ebook um, now I guess technically we call it an ebook but that that point it was more like a like a course or something that you could go and buy it was for like twenty nine ninety nine nobody nobody ever bought it um, but I promoted a book on I don't remember where it was uh, I think it was on Amazon or no it was on uh, it was on Clickbank it was a uh, it was an electronic version of a book at that at that time we didn't really call them ebooks uh, but I promoted it it was 19.99 ended up getting a affiliate commission of twelve dollars and I think 60 some cents so I was pretty excited I, I flipped on my computer uh, my wife was still sitting over at the table or doing something and I went over to her I was like look I was like, you know check this out you know uh, last night while we were sleeping uh, I was able to make $12 now now if you know, I woke up and I only made $12 overnight I'd probably have a tear in my eye uh, but at that time that was that was the beginning that was where I knew that the business that I wanted to create was one that would it was going automatically it was every single second of every single day I had the the opportunity I had a link I had a uh, the ability to get a sale to make some money and so it was, at, it was at that point that I realized if I just put up more websites if I just got more links out there if I put out more content you know such as a YouTube video I could get I could potentially get more traffic to whatever offer I could get more people following me I could get more people to the website I could get more people on YouTube uh, now it's you know social media you know YouTube websites uh, email lists um, you know so many things but what I wanted to 
the whole point of this video and to really get down to it is you have to start somewhere. You, nobody starts at making a hundred thousand dollars a year. Nobody does. It doesn't matter what you are doing. You're not gonna make a hundred thousand dollars a year. You need to break it down. You need to get you know into the small numbers. Into daily, what do you need to make? Hey, do you, if you want to make a million dollars, I think it's like uh, per day you need to make like twenty eight hundred or something like that. So, you know, can you make twenty eight hundred dollars per day doing whatever it is you, that you're doing? If you're working a day job, you know, working a nine to five job. Can you make $2,800? Chances are, no, you can't. Um, you know, there's a lot of doctors, a lot of, you know, lawyers, um, you know, stockbrokers that don't even make a million dollars a year. It's because they're trading their time, in, in most cases, they're trading their time for money. You know, you're paid hourly. Um, you know, what I was doing in the very beginning, I wasn't making any money. I was making nothing zero and the reason I was making nothing is because I was putting stuff out there with the, the hope and with the you know from the experience that I was not that I was relying on as far as my own experience but the experience that other people had that I, I was learning from them and they were teaching how to do these things you know how to do certain content how to put up articles that people would read even I remember back when, um, I have it somewhere, um, I remember back in 2000, uh, 2009, I was doing, I was writing a bunch of articles for like easy articles for different article directories for, um, uh, I don't even remember, Squid Do. Uh, you guys probably some of you guys probably under or know these sites Some of you probably have no clue what I'm talking about and that's perfectly fine. Um, they're not really big now but uh, Back then I was writing all these articles for these sites and every time I put up an article on easy articles I was getting you know 15 you know 20 you know 50 different 50 people reading the article maybe you know five or ten of them every single day going over to my going over to my websites Reading, you know, some of the articles I had there. Every once in a while, they'd click on the link, maybe buy a product, maybe, you know, sign up for a course, you know, do all this different stuff. And I was making a little bit of money. I was making, you know, started out that very first sale, twelve dollars and sixty some cents um, that I made on that very first one. And then it went to, okay, now I'm promoting more stuff. I'm, you know, have YouTube videos up, and I'll put up some affiliate links in those as well. People will buy the stuff. I'll make a little bit of money. So. It took me about probably about two or three months I'd say about two months to really get it going uh, but then after that point it was like two months later I was making you know fifty dollars you know like a week not not every single day um, so for like fifty dollars a week so I was making about two hundred a month and then it went to closer to like eighty dollars a week and it slow, slowly started to grow and even to this day I have a couple sites that I've pretty much held on to for this whole time because they still get sales they're not the fanciest sites they're not the ones with the the best content they're things that I put up you know almost 10 years ago and they're still making money here and there you know these sites cost me roughly you know 10 to 15 dollars a year just to pay for the domain name and so with that if I can make you know fifty dollars a year or a hundred dollars a year and I have all these different sites each making a hundred dollars a year that's nothing okay to make a hundred dollars a year let's say hundred twenty dollars a year that's ten dollars a month okay to make ten dollars a month off one site it does not take a lot of traffic to do that it doesn't take a lot of articles it doesn't take a lot of work what it takes is the commitment to keep pushing out articles keep creating new websites and so you know I was actually talking to uh, uh, somebody today a uh, client of mine uh, we were talking about ebooks and you know that you know I I keep putting up new ebooks every once in a while and I was thinking you know my income it's it was going up in like 2000 the beginning of 2015 to the maybe middle of 2015 then it took a slight drop and then it went it was pretty much plateaued for a little bit and then it slowly started going up plateaued again and so I'm thinking now if I just put in a little more work, a little more effort. Um, so 
what I did after I got a phone call, all I did is I created, a, I looked, did a little bit of research and figured out what uh, niche I wanted to be in, what the topic of the ebook is going to be. I, I created the entire um, layout of the ebook and then sent it off to my writer. And so she's hopefully going to write it in the next probably two to three days, send it back to me. I'll send it off to the editor. Um, he'll fix any any issues that I have with it or that he sees and hopefully he'll send it back to me It'll be good to go in probably four to five days. So What I want you guys to understand um, And take away from this video is that if you have a passion for something if you want to be successful You might not see the results today You might not see the results in a week or maybe even a month or two or three months but as long as you're consistent you consistently keep putting in the work, whether it's with an ebook, a website, a YouTube channel, um, you know, an eBay account, uh, whatever it is, your daily job. Just keep putting in the effort. Do more and more every single day, and at some point, that traction that you are creating is it's going to take you somewhere. Like if you have a day-to-day -day job, you know, a nine-to-five job, put in as much work as you know the CEO, the managers, because at some point somebody's going to notice the hard work that you're putting in and you will be promoted, you will get a raise, you will get you know more benefits, you'll get something because no one that works their butt off and does everything that they possibly can and does more than all the other employees, all the other entrepreneurs, all the other um, CEOs out there, nobody that does all that work goes unnoticed. I guarantee you, if you do the work, whether you have a nine to five job or you're an entrepreneur like myself, as long as you do the work, you will see the results. You will reap the benefits of all that hard work, all that labor, all the, you know, the, you know, uh, nights where you maybe slept two to five hours. I remember there's so many nights that I'd sleep from like midnight to two or three in the morning. I'd sleep for those two to three hours. I'd wake up and I'd hit it hard for probably another four to five hours before anybody woke up. Okay, so I'd wake up at like three o'clock and work from from three to maybe seven or eight where nobody else was awake. And then I'd go back to bed for another two to three hours. So maybe max I was getting six hours of sleep a night. Um, and it was broken up. It wasn't a solid six hours. I did that for probably about eight months. You know, off and on, not every single day, but you know, that's the type of dedication, that's the type of hard work that you have to put into something to see the results. Okay, so if you want to be successful, and success, you know, in my mind is living the life that I want to live. Being able to work when I want to work. Being able to spend time with my family whenever I feel like it. If I don't want to go into the office, I don't have to. If I want to stay home, I can do that as well. If somebody gets sick. Um, I can stay home with my kids. Now, if I get sick, I can stay home and I can afford it. I can afford to take a day off. Um, you know, things like that. You know, afford the luxuries in life, but also, you know, easily afford the necessities such as food, you know, a roof over my head, um, electricity, water, um, you know, health insurance, you know, things like that. So, you know, if you want to be successful, and su success for you is probably different than it is for me, but if you want to be successful, first figure out what success is in your eyes, and then shoot a little bit higher than that. If it is you want to drive a Ferrari one day, you want to drive a Ferrari in five years, how about you want to drive two, Fer you want to drive two Ferraris in four years? Figure out what success is, figure out what your goals are, and then shoot even higher than that. Okay? So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I hope that you enjoyed my my you know my story about how I got started and you know kind of where I am today but you know the whole point is you need to start at some point that twelve dollar and sixty some cent you know sale pretty much pushed me in the in the direction that I that I went to that I eventually went to and got me out of freelance writing got me out of you know all that stuff and put me on a path to more passive income to more you know, uh, more of a lifestyle business and being more of a uh, overall entrepreneur. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you click the button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you guys have any suggestions on videos, please put those in the comment section below. I'd love to read them. I'd love to do a bunch of different videos for you guys. So, uh, yeah, talk to you guys very soon. There goes my phone.